My love of mathematics started, I suppose, at an early age. It was always at school. One of the subjects that I liked best. And I think at each stage where the opportunity came to specialise a bit more, um, I, maths was always there in the mix until, by the end, it was the only thing that was left in the mix. The branch of mathematics that I'm involved in is combinatorics, which is sometimes also re um, referred to as discrete mathematics. Um, I like to try to solve problems that have very simple statements, problems that draw you in immediately, that you don't have to have a lot of expertise, at least to understand the question, but the answers are often very hard to find. So simple to understand, difficult to solve. Those are the kinds of problems that really appeal to me. I've recently um, been given a grant by an, an organisation called the Astera Institute to create a, a team. What we're trying to do, in a nutshell, is examine very, very carefully the process by which human beings manage to solve mathematics problems, or find proofs of theorems and that kind of thing. Having done that, to try to understand it well enough that we can program computers to do what we do. I've done some work in this in the past, so I know that at least some progress in this direction is possible. How much we'll be able to do over the next three years, which is the duration of the project, at least to start with, I don't know. But I'm confident we'll be able to push the boundaries of, of the state of the art, at least to some extent. For a long time, I've been active on social media in one way or another. I think it is quite important for mathematicians to do at least some of this, maybe not all mathematicians, but at least some, partly just to show people that um, mathematics is a worthwhile endeavour, um, and also partly because mathematicians have a particular perspective on the world, and um, so when, for example, something major happens that has a mathematical component, such as an obvious example, the pandemic recently, there are things that can be said and things that I think mathematicians have a role to play in communicating an understanding of the mathematical issues that arise to a wider public. Tonight I'm going to talk about the area of automatic theorem proving, which is very closely connected with the, the theme of the entire event. I think the um, take-home message from my talk tonight will be that um, things are going to change quite a lot as a result of um, efforts put into automatic theorem proving. In the extreme, it might go as far as putting us out of business because computers can just do it better than we can. If that's going to happen, the, the timescale on which it happens is very uncertain. The estimates vary from 10 years to 200 years. <laughs> But um, the fact that some kind of change will happen, I think, and some quite disruptive change, I think, is, is fairly clear. Um, and I think it's not just, you know, if you're not a mathematician, maybe you don't care too much about uh, mathematicians doing their own research. But I think mathematics is a very important, uh, or mathematical research is an important toy problem for much more general artificial intelligence. And so I think the message would be that this is a a fascinating area and one that could have a huge impact in the future.